Hello, I'm Liz, and this is Random Work, and welcome to our 30 minutes to do miniature painting series. So, let me just get this in place. Check this focus door right. And stop the timer. So, last time we null oiled three characters, and we also got working on this character's face and hair colour. So I'm going to finish off the face and hair colour first, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some fixing up of the ones I've nulled, which means making lighter areas. I'll then probably introduce an even lighter colour than what I've used, or an alternative colour. I've got this, this, this really light sort of orangey red colour for dry brushing. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't per se have a better colour than yellow because yellow is the best I've got. I need to sort out the paints on my table. I bet that sound is going to get picked up by my mic. So if you hear a screeching, sorry, somebody else in the house has decided they want to do some drilling. Those are my tools, those are blues. That's a white and white. Mm, that might do for mixing. Anyway, enough about that. Let's see, layer. So I'm going to put another layer of orange into the hair. Um, I'll try to. Um, I'm trying to do the two thin coats principle. Not quite figured it out yet, but that is one of the things that will improve as this series goes on, hopefully. If not, I really don't know what's happening. Uh, and the reason is that I want to get some brown on the top of this purple. I think it sort of ends in a bun. Um, sorry if the camera focuses out. I'm not entirely convinced it is. Because there's no improvement when I mess up with the settings, which is what I just did. So I'll go down back up, hopefully. So that's more orange on that. So let's get some what is called Rhinox Hide. It's quite a dark brown one, I think. We'll see what it looks like when it's dried on the model. I just forgot that I need to take the paint off first, then do the water because it makes it just much easier. So I think I've watered this down already. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to apply some brown on this. That is slightly annoying and put on my hands. Right. So by having the pin, yeah, this is actually quite thin, which is what I was going for. So I have thinned it quite well. Uh, by having the paint slightly thinner, it picks the colour up from behind it and also makes it easier to um, fix. So this is either going to be very dark brown or it's going to lighten up uh, as it dries. Should make a nice contrast with the bright orange hair. Should. The bright orange hair needs a bit of work. got to remember I'm putting on quite a thin coat. So yeah, there it is. Hopefully dry. Nice brown. 
the excess off than liquids. So I think my white yellows are still good. Um, right, I've got a sort of white if I need to mix and stuff. It's kind of a grey white. Those three were the ones I brought up. That metals. This is the point where I find out I didn't have everything so as much as I would like. That's a, right. The blues ended up here for other reasons. I don't remember. I think I might have tried, thought about putting them in. Silver is again. I might have thought about putting it in. That's a dry brush. That's a lighter red. It's a gold. I think I've got like three different. Right, there's two different reds. I think one of them's supposed to be the dark, which means I should have technically used it as the base. And then fit. Yeah, so I've got one, one dry, one gold. I've got plenty of reds. I, I think I'll just mix in a little white to the yellow when it comes to making it slightly brighter. So we'll just grab one of these, and we'll start by. Uh, making the uh, areas a bit less. Is this one I recently did? I really should have some way of telling. Uh, hmm. No idea. I really should keep these in like an order. I know that one was done last week, so... What I'm doing is firstly just checking the paint, which does seem to be dry. With a little water, I might be able to get it back. It's on a wet palette, and it might just be the surface that's gone. Yeah. It's the paint coming back to life. I shouldn't have done it that way, but that's how I've done it. Oh, I'm trying to brush right now. Take excess off, lose a good chunk of paint, then get some on. So I'm just going to try and bring some of the light back in without destroying the shadow, which is going to be slightly awkward. So I'm just going to take it, put it on the wider areas. and the tops. Technically I should have it on the top wide areas, not the bottom. So I made a slight baby there. Because I want there to be like an area of shade. I don't really want to be bending on the top of the surfaces. And like I said, on the top of the ridges, where light would normally be caught. Because otherwise I'll be undoing everything I just did with the Nolan Oil. Which will be a pain in the butt. I don't have to worry too much about the top edges because if I dry brush, the dry brush will catch them. And that's when you use the really light colours. Um, so shades go into the uh, recesses and dry brushing is for highlighting the very top edges of things. With each new layer you sort of are supposed to get a lighter colour and sort of reduce the area you repaint because uh, it makes it stand out more. I think the paint is a little too dry. Um, it's 
so it's not quite going on uh, as I would like. Like I said, I think I may have gnawed some of these wrong. They're not going to be right. Really didn't want to do that on that, but meh. Big CP area. This part is fine. It's I don't want to go into that recess too much. So the person whose paints I'm borrowing from actually went and gave me a yellow base the other day. Um, so I've been using a, a layer rather than a base colour. Um, the yellow which means it's a lot thinner because obviously it's supposed to be built up upon uh, they had used the base and not put it back in their collection so I could technically do that colour at the start of a highlight instead. Which, you know, is a consideration for later. Some of the paint like, I don't really need to paint under here the null oil is fine in the shade, but I just want to take a bit of the null oil off and also ruin the shirt the skirt. Um stop me uh work away around. You can see where I've uh, gnawed a bit too heavily in like, the creases. It's not very good there, but you can see the much darker area. Um, I, like I said, I don't think I should have really gnawed it in the way I did. Um, but I did. Oopsie. Live, Pint, live! Get too much on my brush. It probably doesn't help that every time I go to this I add more water in, which is just maybe going to make paint ever so slightly thinner. Uh, A bit too much paint on my brush, so I'm just gonna put it in the front.
Really, what I need to decide in the models is which way the light's hitting them. Because I'm sort of just picking a side and going with it right now. And I might not actually be doing the right direction for each piece of cloth. Leave the unders. Leave it as. You can see if I compare the old one, the old one, to the ones where I'm just in the light. All the colours. You can see the sort of shades because of the null nile. Right, let's just go for another layer of that. Uh, brown on the What I might do for this this one is I might be more selective with the normal and only do the gold and red zone. And we'll see how much of a difference that makes in comparison to the yellow that I don't touch. Although it does mean I have to be a bit more selective with my strokes. Where's that piece of paint gone? There's like some hard paint uh, that I've Hard paint flex from the uh, brown. Not quite being looked after. Which isn't surprising. They've got like, I don't know if you've ever seen those bread uh, trays that supermarkets get, but he's got like that full of paints. Some of them are multiples. Um, but it does mean that there are a lot, and obviously they're not going to use them all of the time. And they are as infrequent in their painting as well as some people are. Oops. Put a paint on the hair just then.
Can I? Right, so that's the brown. Can I? Do I put... Right, what I'll do is I'll put no layer of colour on the hair next and then the face one more time if it needs it. Uh, and then I'll... I'm going to wait until still a little bit more for this one to be finished. Rotate. I think one of my problems with telling about my paint is the fact that I've used brown paper and I think most people tend to use a white paper. It doesn't really make a difference, it's still baking slash cooking paper. I think there is a difference actually between the two. Um, but it shouldn't um, make a difference to the palette itself. I do think I need to get more paint out because I do believe this is not really the best way to be doing this. But I want to try and salvage as much of this paint as I can. And like I said, I think it's just the top that's hardened. It's the bottom is still fine because it's on a wet palette. Sometimes I get the feeling I should talk and explain what I'm doing, but also that I need to not talk here because it takes up concentration sometimes. Maybe because sometimes you can see it. I think it's more in the makes videos where I need to start talking a bit more. And because I do need to explain what I'm doing in them. Um, Using the null oil and the uh, yellow was not particularly wise. I might use the other one to experiment with a different colour. Um, like I said, I've got Cass Cassandora yellow, which is a orangey yellow wash so I might try that on the uh, other model. Might do a mix of Nuln on the red and well no Nuln on the metal. Carambon Crimson which is a red wash. Like a proper red wash. That wash on the reds. This wash on the yellows. Um, so we'll experiment with this one like we have already with the uh, Painting of the colours of the skin and hair. 
experimentation is all right to a degree um, because I want to be able to get better and the only way to do that is to experiment with what I can do I am getting the paint off this uh, palette like it's taking a bit of effort but it is happening um, you can see that the paint is getting a bit more see-through as I slowly chip away at the uh, layer. It's just, like I said, taking a little bit, that's pretty much a little bit of effort and then losing a little bit of control of the paints. Which I don't really want. We do want those shaded areas to still exist. Oh, take it. Oh, take it. Uh, I didn't actually pick up a new model. Sometimes rotating them at all just makes it easier. I've decided the light is sort of coming at them from this angle. <sighs> I must remember to breathe. Lest one hurt oneself. Or makes oneself lightheaded. Or is there a reason we learned making one's colla uh, lungs collapse? isn't it? Cool, cool. I think the hardest part of these videos is that I'm doing a series of them. I have to actually stop in the middle. Um, not to like stop the recording or anything. I do have to stop the recording, that's simple. But I mean, I have to actually put a break in the middle while I take pictures off them. 
um, so you can actually see the changes. Um, which is another reason I really need to stop touching these ones up. Um, I put far too, far too much on that one. Oh well. Um, yes. Rotate, rotate. So I managed to get what, this one with the face painted a bit more. Then I've touched up three of the, uh, four of the Null Noil characters. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to take photos of them properly. Uh, which, by the way, you can find if you go to Instagram, the link to which is in the description below. Um, excuse me. Yes. So, uh, yes, yeah, so next time we'll do uh, maybe some experimentation with Null Nile for natural the face and hair of the one unhelmeted character. And start layering things maybe probably not get a dry brush in there just to show the technique um not that i really know how to do it um, but yes that is all we have time for and yeah thank you for reaching the end of this video and if you like what you saw and want some more, why not hit the like button, maybe subscribe, and then check out one of the videos or playlists showing up on the screen. Or why not head over to the channel for even more options. And if you have subscribed, hit the bell on this video or the channel page and get notified every time a new video goes live. But either way, it's bye for now, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!